Hello beautiful soul, welcome to today's uh, reading for the Heart Chakra uh, energy reading. There is, I have never seen a more beautiful color, honestly this green is just mesmerizing. Uh, sometimes the Heart Chakra is depicted with pink uh, because it represents the feminine aspect of the heart and the green is the masculine aspect of the heart. But usually it is um, the green chakra because I believe there is another higher chakra. There is a new um, 12 chakra system that we are um, upgrading to as part of our light body activation. Now, I must say, um, before that, I just wanted to share with you what we had underneath the deck i just saw it before showing up creating heaven on earth it's happening just a one one okay <clears throat> um before we get into today's deeper dive i must say it was very hard for me to show up today especially to channel for this theme for the heart chakra because it is one of the challenges that as beings of light who carry the frequency of unconditional love, the, this purity to, <laughs> to transmute the heavy density energies um, that um, you know are prevailing in the 3D realm. And um, you know, we have had um, past experiences that have truly fragmented our soul, that have truly uh, made us carry all these wounds and have our hearts closed, right? Uh, when we have our hearts closed, we cannot access our truth. We cannot uh, move up into the higher chakras and connect to source. So when your heart is closed, you're operating in the 3D, you're operating from your low vibrational chakras in the distorted um, energy centers, okay? When your heart is closed, you are operating from a toxic ego. That is not a healthy ego because it's not aligned with your heart. When, you, um, when your heart is closed, your sacral chakra, the distorted patterns of the sacral chakra will be... Um, unfulfilling addictions will be um you know sex without love which is yet another form of um just addiction um not being connected with your inner child no joy no purity uh, and also the root chakra when it's not connected to the heart we are not able to have that uh grounded presence that is just allowing us to emanate more of the light that uh, that we carry, and to also feel this sense of belonging, okay? Um, because the root chakra is really all about finding our roots here. And um, there is this amazing book that I highly recommend. I cannot remember the author, but it's called Anchored. Um, and it really talks about the link between connection and feeling grounded on earth and because a lot of us have not been able to have the kind of deep connections that we were seeking um we had to disconnect we had to dissociate we had to feel ungrounded because in a way our soul have has always missed certain parts that you know uh, wanted to be touched um, wanted to share those deeper aspects with someone else and it's almost like we have been operating uh, you know we have just shown the tip of the iceberg the depth all of the depth that our soul that our um you know that our heart space has put in the back burners just for us to experience it now in the new earth you know what i'm actually going to leave it <laughs> i really believe that it was uh today's message oh boy okay yeah and the second one it's longing for home belonging and i just saw 444 all right here we go we're back on track i must say before before diving in today's message is the energy shifted completely right now i have been in a very 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 heavy space because the collective as i'm channeling for the collective 
especially for the divine um, masculine collective right now, there is a huge shift within their heart space as there is a big pattern that is uh, right now transmitting off their system, a pattern that has been very, very heavy in relationship to the dark feminine, which is an energy that um, an entity that has been uh, really controlling a lot of the um, uh, a lot of the systems, a lot of the um, uh, a lot of uh, the the paradigms uh, of the old earth of the Piscean age, which goes back twenty six thousand years ago. Uh, right now, we're shifting in the age of Aquarius, the age of light, the age of innovation, the age of um, the galactic age. I'm calling it the age of authenticity, the age of the heart. Um, if it's not authentic it just won't pass in the new earth and everything that we have seen have you witnessed this pattern with um you know famous singers that all of a sudden they i mean not everyone but you know the famous ones all of a sudden they just tor turn like dark it's almost like they all like um slip into this pattern they all fall into the same pattern and it's uh why would that be the media has this almost like um there's a lot of dark magic that is happening behind the scenes with this uh what we call and is something that i have found not too long ago it's it's called the glamour spells and it makes uh it makes all these shiny you know celebrity type um to really have this almost like you know why are all these people like crazy followers and uh, <laughs> there's got to be a reason for that right because there isn't much value in there uh i mean i i don't know i don't follow that world but it's just like it's crazy how when you look at huge accounts with like billion billion I guess uh, people you're like really um um anyway it's it, it, there's something deeper in there and it's um this kind of things this kind of truths are going to be revealed more and more and more and more as we are um you know uh transmuting these heavy dense energies into the light they need to come out and we need to start seeing the truth there is no such thing as celebrity in um in the new earth i heard another channeler saying this and it's it's true i mean yes we are leaders spiritual leaders we are guides but it's not it's not the same like almost like worshiping uh type of um like relationship and energy it's not the same um anyway so let's dive into today's message i had actually <laughs> i don't usually do that but last night usually i put this card uh close to my bed and i last night like the messages already started to come through the night before and last night my guy decided to like throw a party <laughs> and i just I, I couldn't keep up i had to i had to write down the notes and so yes first things first new earth this is the new earth that we are building um mintakan longing for home belonging uh the original light worker this is the light body our original blueprint our divine original blueprint that has been um you know that has been replaced with uh the dark uh the dark uh templates of the 3d world and what we came here to do is first of all to experience the 3d realm to understand how darkness works <laughs> works in the world and then to transmute that and to come back into our original divine blueprint and um to um install new paradigms uh, that are connected to source in the new earth okay so we need to come into our purity before we can really um before we can really um install templates we need to make sure that it's from the heart everything that will be created in the new earth it is from the heart 
okay and in order for us to really come back into our heart space there is a lot to purify this card for me is purity right there's a lot of water here um it just it just brings me this idea of purity we gotta purify our vessel from all the darkness from all the um negative perceptions that we have just been you know incepted in our system right uh consciously or unconsciously this is our work right now it's really releasing all these layers of karma and come back into our heart space because it's from the heart space that we will be able to create all um all that is to create okay okay uh, i'm really curious what the cards wants to say but before that I just need to remind, um, I really need to um, precise that the, the, uh, the definition of love, I just saw 1111, <laughs> wow, the 1111 portal is going to be huge. Um, so the definition <laughs> uh of love in the 3d in the matrix in the old earth has been very distorted okay the love is not the, you know the um, red hearted balloons and uh the valentine's day is not <laughs> this is not love love is a, a love is a frequency love is the highest frequency that is available on earth at the moment okay um and is what creates new worlds it's what creates the new earth the new earth is a frequency it's not a physical place that we're going you know we're moving towards it's a frequency and it's only by aligning our uh, vessels by aligning all the layers of our being with that frequency this is how we can transcend and this is how we can um align with uh our highest timeline so um the reason why a lot of us have had this distorted um image of love or this distorted perception of love is because as kids we absorb what we think love is from the templates of our family, from what we see uh, in the outer world. And this is how we create an image based on what we have witnessed, okay? And this, we internalize uh, what we have experienced, right? So if in your family there has been abuse, if your mother was a narcissist, if, um, you know, um, if in a way, you have been conditioned to believe that uh, being good means being love or um, you received love as some sort of incentive or some sort of reward for being a certain way this is how we imprint this is the imprinting that then we carry on our life throughout our lives to believe that love is conditional this is the model that has been uh, around the old earth with this idea that love is conditional okay and the new earth is vibrating it's uh the frequency of unconditional love okay so uh, the way we okay the way we heal these energies is first of all we gotta you know transmute all these wounds from our heart space and it may come up with a lot of resentment and not just towards let's just say your karmic family but towards even the whole universe for simply um you know for for everything that is happening because as an empathic soul as a sensitive soul it's just like you're feeling a lot okay um there's just a lot that we carry and we need to process that in order to allow the flow of love to really flow through again. And so the first step, as I was saying, is healing the past, healing. Um, okay, I just saw the Empress in reverse. So yeah, it's obviously our card. The Empress is such a loving presence. It's the mother type. And in reverse, it means that we, a lot of us have not have, <laughs> then we got the Six of Cups in reverse, which is like childhood, reunion, happy energy. Um, and then we got the Hierophant in reverse. Okay, let me just clarify the Hierophant. I don't usually do that, but I felt 
I felt called to just pull the cards. I mean, you know, the cards know what they're doing. Let me just clarify the Hierophant. The Hangman and the Tower. <laughs> Everything is in reverse. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. It's very, very... Um, yeah, it's self-explanatory, but okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, um, yeah. So healing, okay, the hangman is healing card. It's, you know, he's introspective. Um, he is uh, seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing the bigger picture. Um, the tower is almost like a sudden reveal, is, uh, you know, the end of a cycle, the end of an, the end of something. Okay, uh, it can also represent like a revelation. Uh, um, yeah, we're gonna come back to these cards, but first of all, the first thing is to heal the mother wound. Okay, the mother wound is healing all the love that you wish you had received, but weren't able to. Okay. And the way we do that is through, you know, allowing the emotions to flow through. And the second step, it is, um, okay, yeah, finding a healthy female, um, I want to sneeze, <laughs> finding a healthy uh, feminine divine feminine sacred feminine archetype okay could be uh a goddess energy i don't really resonate with the goddess because there are goddesses that are you know of the evil as well but they're you know uh, mother mary uh gaia earth itself um herself um there is also a very very um you know beings of light there is Kuan Yin as well uh green tara and i i think she's a syrian you know whichever um whoever you resonate with um it could be an a, a specific animal let's get an animal card quickly okay so it could be the energy of an animal the energy of something in nature anything that uh gives you this idea of love and you need to fill your heart space with uh that energy of pure love not conditional love and what you have been programmed uh this feels like yeah like uh, twist uh <laughs> twisted inverted reality <sighs> so yeah the hierophant is a almost like the priest energy and to me it represents like a spiritual figure okay so we need to associate and associate associate love with the kind of purity that we can receive from these higher beings, okay? Because humans um, have not, you know, they are just repeating the cycles that they have learned uh, over, you know, from their family. They have learned that okay, this is how love is. It's conditional. It's this way, and so they have not evolved past that. Uh, paradigm and so they are passing on, passing it on to you but the thing is that this stops this has to stop because we are moving on to a different cycle we are no longer repeating the karma and we are going into the new earth so for us it is our opportunity to heal those wounds and it is our opportunity to be the spiritual leaders to really embody that you know, as divine feminists, really embody that sacredness of, you know, um, Mother Mary and as a divine masculine to embody that true Christ consciousness energy. And there is really no um, cheating, <laughs> there is no cheat code to that. It's really the more you heal, the more you step into your divinity and your original blueprint, <laughs> your original light worker that you are. Um, so, I mean, yeah, this is this is it. Um, also, you can connect to. Okay, I know for me, what really helps is to connect with my star family. To the love that I have experienced from coming from my star family, it's something that I just not I could never experience here on Earth. It's 
it's not possible um yet because that's what we came here to do so let's see if we have and i'm not sure if we have i just felt called to bring some um bring some more cards into the reading even though we have some divine abundance as well um i'm excited the energy shifted because it has been okay we got the frog I was not expecting it but maybe she has a message for us it says clear out the clutter <laughs> we have a second <laughs> I'm curious the frog okay yeah well it's green first of all it's green <laughs> um but let's see I feel like my guides are throwing me a challenge right now frogs are actually pretty cute I remember I um <laughs> I lived in a in you know in the countryside and in the summer whenever we had the lights on they used to like come next to the house they're actually pretty cute. <laughs> Ooh, we have the koi fish spirit. There is always enough. Okay, yeah. For this one, it's very uh, easy. Um, when love is conditional, we always feel like we need to fill our cup, fill our cup, fill our cup, because we have never received enough of the kind of love that we should have experienced okay and this is not a judgment towards you know our karmic family they have done everything they could with their tools with their level of consciousness i mean if we have lived during you know um it's just because we came here during this time to actually ascend is because the energies are really helping us collectively to ascend but if we were stuck in you know um in um in probably their timeline we don't know how we would have uh, you know um proceeded it's yeah there's always enough i really like um the koi fish spirit there's always enough um there is always enough so the more we fill our heart space with that pure source love energy the more um we will feel like oh okay so i have always been loved unconditionally um by source by the universe by you know it's just that when we look at life through this lenses of i'm not love unconditionally so i need to compensate i need to somehow prove my value to the world so that i can get there in return it's very transactional um clear out the clutter okay let me just read very quickly from this little froggy um she just came here to say hello but we'll see what she has maybe she has a very interesting message for us you never know la 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 so the frog spirit knows that while all other frogs are crocking away, there is a time for you to simplify and declutter your life so that you can feel content with your own lily pad. Even when life isn't creating a total uh, cacophony, we can become drawn to the excitement of lots of noise. Then the next thing we know are schedules and homes are cluttered with commitments we regret making and objects taking up valuable space. Ooh, I just got hit. Okay, um, I'm hearing clear out. Ooh, <laughs> thank you guys. Clear out your heart space. Okay, clear out your heart space from all this um, resentment, from all these past Tower can also mean breakup, divorce, um, you know, just failures, perceived failures in love. It was karmic. It was a lesson. Um, now you are wiser, okay? The hanged man is wise. You know, it's coming back down, uh, you know, seeing things from a different perspective and embodying this leader, spiritual leader energy because you have gone Ooh, thank you froggy oh my god you see it is such a wise being and she came here like just out of nowhere and you know you know 
<laughs> it almost feels like the divine feminine, uh, like coming out of the lead field and being like, hello, it has always been me. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I'm saying this is because as I was sharing in the beginning, uh, you know, big part of the ascension process is clearing out the, um, the dark feminine templates, the dark, you know, the distorted masculine patterns as well. And a big theme of the dark feminine is, you know, what I was sharing with the uh, glamorous spells. And so when these are healed, which is happening right now within the collective, it's like all of a sudden the value of the divine feminine is like, huh. So I was underestimating the frog, but in the end, she was the one who like gave us the you know the biggest uh inside of the biggest breakthrough so <laughs> as we are healing and we are really seeing life from a very different perspective um it's um yeah we're coming back to ourselves this is really what it is the original blueprint and it, it needs to come through heartbreak because we were conditioned okay we were not walking our path we were walking a different path that was not from the heart we were walking with our hearts closed and we have chosen for me like also this can mean distorted patterns okay we had the the distorted leaders uh role models and we had distorted this is distorted feminine okay uh the distorted feminine energy all right uh we got a lot of things but you know divine abundance it's come it comes from the heart so <laughs> we just have karma which is cleared the energy did like a 180 since i came here to share this with you guys um okay yeah we got divine flow with the pink you know the higher heart our sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the the divine flow at all costs yeah when you're in your heart this really allows you to be in flow with life because you know when your heart is closed you're walking uh upstream you're just like walking uh you're in this hangman in reverse you're not um you're not wise you're not seeing you know it's almost like you have a filter um and you see like through that wounding and you know when we are in a wounded type of energy we are going to experience more of that wounding like the hangman is all about perspective and these two cards together um the tower when we experience tower is breakup okay heartbreak when we okay hear me out guys <laughs> this is very important when we go through heartbreak our perception of the world changes it's almost like we see life through the filters of that wounding and the whole world would just mirror back to us what we carry within and so when we carry wounding when we carry the perception that uh, men are blank women are blank there is just not enough love uh, there is never enough the world would mirror back to us and we will be uh, attracting from that uh, point of conception we will be attracting into our life the evidence of what we think to be true it's just basic math and so we need to clear out our heart space if we want to experience divine love if we want to experience um you know unconditional love and all that stuff uh, belonging uh <laughs> belonging so yeah that was a pretty clear message that just had to be shared so we are moving uh, the 3D is conditional transactional love. We're moving out of that and into unconditional love. Ta-da! New Earth. Allowing. Radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment. So what's needed can come next. Yeah, they're all they're both pink. And to me, the, this this is about divine feminine. This is the energy of the divine feminine, of the mother energy, which like I really feel like she is, and divine feminine is an energy, okay? It's an energy that we can embody or not. Um, it's the pure divine, you know, she looks like Mother Mary to me here. Um, it's the pure essence of the divine feminine. 
that we need to embody to heal our hearts. Uh, so call upon the type of energy that you most resonate with and connect with that, whether that is your star family, whether that, that is some sort of being of light that you know you can, because these beings of light, I am hearing as well Archangel Raphael, because like I'm always seeing Arch Archangel Raphael with with green clothes <laughs> um but yeah like the divine feminine uh uh energy is really going to heal the planet is really going to heal the earth as and right now the energies are shifting pretty quickly for the divine feminine to make to make her comeback on earth <laughs> i can't believe i made it through um and we got the liberation got the liberation of the divine feminine what a message whoa okay i'm gonna leave you guys there um i really hope this message liberated your soul in a way um and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and uh bye for now